What's up, YouTube? Sean, less of the over dummies. Um, over the course of the last week or so, maybe longer, you've seen me testing with this AliExpress regulator. I'm gonna do a little breakdown on how mine is set up and uh, put some links in for you guys. Um, they are mostly AliExpress links. Be forewarned, um, if you're afraid of ordering stuff from uh, China, well, you're screwed. <laughs> uh, I've always had good uh, dealings with the AliExpress app, so here goes. Regulator. And this adapter. They are two separate pieces. I will link it. I will link it. This adapter uh, goes from a HBA thread, so like your standard bottle thread, and steps down to 3 8 24. It has a puncture pin inside, so you can literally puncture this and spray it all over the place. Regulator. This is not how it shows up. Have a close look at that. It's missing a few key components. And this is what it looks like when you order it. First things first, the adjustment knob that normally goes right in this spot here. I've unscrewed it completely. I've replaced it with the M17 Velocity adjustment screw, which is an M6 by 12 millimeter cone point set screw. You can see here, it's a little long. So what I'm gonna link is a M6 by 10, which is going to set my screw pretty much flush with the top of this chrome uh, nut here. So there won't be any snags, no possibility of this getting twisted on its own. But be forewarned, that size coincides with the setup on my marker. The link is going to be for when you kind of scroll through the sizes, there are multiple lengths. Uh, there is one shorter than the 10 mil, there's an eight mil. So if you wanna go shorter, uh, but it all really depends on your adjustment here. So how much you've wound this in. The M17 screw might be perfectly adequate. In this case, that's the happy spot. So I need a shorter screw. Uh, the next is the gauge port. There is a gauge here. You are going to have a gauge here. The gauge is a mofo to get out. Um, it'll probably get destroyed when you remove it. This is an M10 by 1.0 by 10 millimeter socket set screw. That's what I have installed here. And you can see it protrudes just a little bit. I will put the link to the 10 mil that I'm using there are also shorter sizes. There's an eight mil, so you could run this screw flush, so it wouldn't be sticking out at all. But here is my OCD taking over. This side, this screw here, is not metric. It is 3 8 24 national fine thread, which is just standard fine thread. Uh, this was where your 3000K, or sorry, your 3K or 3000 PSI burst disc was. Now, for our intents and purposes, it is not a necessary evil here. Um, your marker is never gonna reach 3000 uh, PSI before an O-ring lets go. So it's, a, it's something that we don't need. And uh, I'd like to thank Alex uh, Less Lethal from the Facebook group for doing the legwork on that. I was laying in bed last night and he messaged me and said, hey, why don't you get rid of that uh, burst disc? And I said, well, 
I went through some of the stuff I have and nothing fit. And he said, well, why didn't you try a, a or try a first strike uh, burst disc? They're much shorter profile. So of course, 6 a.m. this morning, I'm out there. Hey, look, the burst, the first strike burst stick fit. It fit very well. I sent him a picture and when I opened the messenger to send him the picture, he'd already hit me up and said, it's 3 8 24. I have 3 8 24 set screws here from my uh, Tiberius T9 days when I was doing uh, PRV deletes on that particular marker. This screw I could only find in a 3 8 length. That's the shortest I could find. So. Uh, this is an Amazon link. It, it may show up as a Canadian link to you guys uh, that are maybe stateside. Um, it's from a company that I have dealt with numerous times and it's prime for me, so it's good. Uh, it's called Hard to Find Fasteners. But you can see when this, this is the uh, burst disc side, when they're threaded in, these are both bottomed out. They both protrude evenly, which satisfies my OCD. Now, if I ran one of these flush, like I said, you can, you can order a shorter gauge port side. It's not going to be even. It's going to drive me crazy. And that's all there is to it, guys. Um, links will be in the description. You have any other questions? Yeah, just shoot them in the comments, but uh, that's all there is to it. Hopefully... This helps you guys out. If you want to try out your own contraption, it has worked very well for me. Um, it's proven its worth. They're, they're not very expensive for me. I think they're $29 uh, Canadian. So probably cheaper for you guys stateside. And anything, guys, if I can recommend anything on AliExpress, when you are looking for items and you find one, look at the seller's rating. Like if it's higher than 93, you're, you're good to go. Um, if it's less than that, I would try and keep searching because there are multiple vendors on there. And the other thing is choose AliExpress standard shipping. Uh, many times it's actually free, but if you can avoid like the Kano or, you know, there's some odd shipping things on there, avoid them. Um, it's not that they'd never delivered, but they were usually the slowest. The AliExpress standard, I've been getting stuff in two weeks. So that's really good. All right, guys. See you next time.